Today was a bit of a downer for many share markets across the world, especially compared to last week's exuberance, which was sparked by America's central bank telegraphing its plans to cut interest rates next year. So while the Dow Jones hit another record high, it was all red across Europe and Asia after a head honcho from the US Federal Reserve pushed back against markets by reminding us that it's quite premature to be talking about rate cuts at this point, especially since inflation is still way too high. Locally, the All Lords finished its day marginally lower, but some stocks did ridiculously well, like Tabcorp, after it received a new 20-year betting licence from the Victorian government, and Link Administration, which is on the verge of being taken over by Japan's Mitsubishi Bank for a billion dollars. Meanwhile, AMP has crunched the numbers on this so-called Santa rally and found that December is in fact one of the best months for the local share market, for 10 out of the last 15 years at least. And the odds also seem to be favouring the Aussie dollar, which has risen above 67 US cents, close to a four-month high. And finally, oil prices are starting to recover again after suffering heavy losses in the past couple of months. It comes after some of the world's biggest shipping companies announced they'll stop sending their vessels through the Red Sea, where 10% of the world's trade passes through due to recent attacks by Houthi militants on their cargo. If this drags on, it could lead to supply disruptions, which would be bad news on the inflation front. And that's finance.